So in this video, we'll continue our discussion on the properties of a parametric curve. One thing that is so important to understand the curve is about the slope of tangent at any point on the curve. And please recall what you know about um, certain problems regarding the slope of the tangent. For example, please recall something here. If you're given a function y equals f of x, let's randomly choose a point on the x-axis. Let's say this point is x0. If you come back to the point with the x-coordinate x0 sitting on the curve y equals f of x, and you can easily uh, measure the slope of the tangent at this point. And uh, this is the tangent at this point x0. And um, the slope, if you recall from calculus, uh, the slope is exactly the same as the f prime of x0, which is a derivative problem. So you need to find the derivative f prime first and replace x by x0 to get the slope value. But uh, you, you see, uh, the problem is that uh, this approach works whenever you have the function f of x for the variable y. But as I said, um, in a parametric curve case, we don't really have this function. So what we have is y is equal to f of t and x is equal to g of t. So essentially, it means that y coordinate and the x coordinate of a point are both presented by using a parameter t. And um, let's think about how to find the slope of certain tangents uh, in this case. And um, let's take a look at certain points by using the t equals t naught. So at this value of t, of course, you can uh, write down the points uh, respectively as the x coordinate is g of t naught and the y coordinate based on my notation is f of t naught, right? So it's a simple computation here. And please note that now uh, we don't have the function f of x here for the variable y. So in that case, um, we can use this differential notation. So please recall uh, the dy dx notation means you're differentiating y with respect to variable x. Unfortunately, we don't have the function for y to be a function of x, right? But uh, we have these two equations. So it means I can think of uh, this derivative as dy dt over dx dt. And now the top dy dt is basically the derivative of this f of t. So I can use f prime of t to represent that. And similarly, for dx dt is basically the derivative of g with respect to t. So it's g prime of t. And after finding this um, fraction, you have to evaluate this fraction at the point t equals t naught. And that's basically the slope at this point when t is t naught. And let's look at the simple example in the next page. Please look at the current example. You're given a parametric curve with the function for the y and function for the x uh, in terms of the variable t. And I would like to ask you to give me the equation of tangent at the time variable t to be 0. And let's look at the point first. When t is 0, the y coordinate of the point is just the same as uh, 4 times 0 minus 8 because I replaced t by 0. So the y coordinate is minus 8. And the x coordinate, similarly, you can replace t by 0 inside the expression, which means x is 5, and which means the point is actually 5 comma minus 8, right? And what is the slope of this tangent? Let's look at the slope uh, whenever the t is 0. So uh, based on what I said before, we can use the formula uh, y prime over x prime. Both are derivatives with respect to variable t to represent the slope function. And let's do this calculation together. y prime, which is the derivative of uh, 4t minus 8. So the derivative is 4 for the top. And for the bottom, the derivative is 2t minus 2. That's the derivative for x. And uh, now I have to evaluate this function at the point t equals 0. So it means that basically, we have the fact that uh, the slope is actually minus 2, right? And you see, uh, we are talking about a tangent, which is a straight line. And we know the slope. We know the point. And obviously, you can easily give me the equation of tangent, right? I will try to write the answer in the next step. So you can take a look at the equation of tangent in this way. And this is the point slope form for a straight line. This one is the slope, which is minus 2. And of course, these are the x and y coordinates of the point we look at, which is sitting at the curve. And also, uh, that's the point that touched the tangent, right? And that's the equation of tangent. And let's look at part b. So in part b, you're asked to find any horizontal tangent of this curve. And please recall the fact that for any horizontal line 
the slope must be zero, right? And please recall the slope function from the previous page. The slope function is the same as y prime divided by x prime. So the slope function is four divided by two t minus two. And um, I want to find any horizontal tangent, right? So I to so mathematically I have to set this fraction be zero. And please look at the form of this fraction. There's no chance you can get this fraction to be zero because numerator is non-zero, right? So uh, we understand that um, there's no value of t can satisfy this equation. So it means what? Because there's no time t that can satisfy the fact that this slope is zero, which means there's no horizontal tangent. And the next part, let's find any vertical tangent. So to find any vertical tangent, the fact is that the slope of a vertical line is um, kind of like, uh, if you recall the slope formula, it's like the difference of y divided by the difference of x for any two points on the straight line. But the fact is that for vertical line, um, the x coordinate of that point is always fixed, right? For a vertical line, the x coordinate is always fixed which means the difference of the x coordinate between two points must be zero, which means that the slope of any vertical tangent is always something like non-zero divided by zero, right? Um, you can call it the concept of infinity, but uh, mathematically speaking, you can think of it something like uh, non-zero divided by zero. And uh, please recall the slope function for our current uh, parametric curve. It's 4 divided by 2t minus 2, right? We want to make it look like non-zero divided by zero. And um, it means what? 4 is already non-zero here, so it's fine. So it means uh, we have to set the denominator be zero. And you can easily solve that t is actually 1. It means that when time t is 1, we can actually get a vertical tangent. Are you able to tell me the equation of such tangent? The fact is that you can find the y and x coordinate of this point when you know that the t is 1, right? But please recall the fact that for a straight line like this, which is a vertical tangent, we always present it as an equation like x equals constant, right? Because for a special line, vertical line, it can be presented by using x equals constant. So we have to find this constant. And this constant obviously is the same as the x coordinate of any point on this straight line which means we don't need to find the y coordinate at all. We just have to focus ourselves in finding the x coordinate when t is one. Right? So uh, it means that actually um, the x is four. So the equation of the vertical tangent is actually the same as x equals four here. And that's the end of this video.